Hi there, if you're using your iPhone to film videos and you want to edit them on your PC, you'll know the pain and frustration of trying to transfer large video files from your iPhone to your PC. Don't worry, I've got a solution for this which doesn't involve iTunes, doesn't involve signing up to some online service, doesn't involve uploading them to the cloud and then downloading them to your PC. It's a bit simpler than that and it's completely free. On your iPhone, open up the Apple Store and then search for File Transfer App. Scroll down and it's this one with this red logo. Gonna go and download and install that. This app is completely free. Once the app's installed, go and open it and you can scroll across to go through this guide. I'm just gonna click OK because I know how to use it. Now you can transfer files from either your photos and videos on your iPhone or from the file system. To transfer a video from your regular photo storage, just tap on photos and videos and you can either allow full access or limit access to certain photos. I'm gonna choose limit access and then I'm just going to choose a few of these videos and tap done. If I tap back and then tap files and you can see here that there's no files in this app's private directory. So what you need to do is you can copy or import files from other places on your iPhone into this app's private directory before you can transfer them. Just tap these three dots, choose import files and for example say you've recorded some videos using the Blackmagic camera app. I'm going to tap this folder here, tap media, and let's go copy these two video files to the app's private directory. I'm going to tap open. To actually send a file, tap select at the top and tap one or more files. They turn red if you've selected them. And then you can tap the send button. Just going to cancel that and show you how to do it from your photos and videos. I'm going to tap recents. Again, I'm going to tap select. And you can choose one or more files here. If you choose more than one file, then they're going to get zipped up. So you'll have to unzip them on your computer. I'll show you that in a second. Once you've selected the files, they get these big tick marks and then tap the big red send button at the bottom. You can choose to send it to a computer, your PC, or send it to an iPhone or iPad. I'm going to tap send to computer. Just wait for this ad to finish. You can buy the full version if you want to get rid of these ads, by the way, but you don't have to. Just going to tap done and then hit this cross at the top right to close the ad. You can see we get this web address here and what you need to do is go over to your PC and type this in. This is going to be a web address on your local Wi-Fi network. Notice that it's a HTTP address. So so it's not a secure address if you like. So you might not want to do this. In fact, you probably won't want to do this. In fact, you definitely won't want to do this if you're on a public network, a public Wi-Fi network, because in theory, anybody could see the files that you're sending to your PC. For example, if you're using a laptop in a cafe. Because I'm using this on my home Wi-Fi network, I'm happy to use this HTTP address and not a HTTPS address. So here's my PC. I've opened up this web browser and I've typed in that address that we saw on the phone. Again, this is on my my local Wi-Fi network, the same Wi-Fi network that my phone's attached to, and we'll hit enter, and you should see this screen, and simply click the big download button, and you can see on the phone screen here, it's telling us it's transferring these files, and on the PC here, you can see that we're transferring 1.5 gigabytes of files. Now, the speed of your local Wi-Fi network will determine how fast this transfer happens. Remember, I selected three video files, that's why we've got such a big download. In this case, we chose three videos, that's why we've got them all combined into one zip file but if you choose a single video file it will just be downloaded separately and it won't be added to a zip file. Now this web browser has downloaded the file from the phone simply open up the zip file and you can see the three video files that we selected on the phone are now on the PC. So you can just go and copy these and paste them into your video editing app. I believe that videos can change the world and everybody should have the ability to learn how to make better looking, better sounding and better edited videos and that's what this channel is all about. If you think the same thing please subscribe and turn on notifications and hopefully I'll see you in another video.